give a shout out one of my viewers her name is Carrie and she loves to get in the shower and soak and watch my videos so I just wanted to say Carrie this video is uh, for you girl David said you love to soak in the garden tub and I appreciate you watching all my videos so girl this video is for you thanks Carrie Designs for a Diva, and today I'm bringing you an exclusive home tour of the Abigail. I'm currently standing on the side porch of the Abigail. It's a Clayton Homes original. Um, this particular home can only be found at this time at one of the Clayton Homes in Anniston, Alabama, and it's not even up on the Opelika website yet. So I hope you enjoy because this home is absolutely amazing and I'm so excited to be able to premiere this beautiful home tour here on my channel, Designs for a Diva. So let's get right into it. All right, family. So here we have the beautiful Abigail and we're actually gonna go in on the side, from the side here, but I wanted to show you just how big this home is. As you can see, we have four chateau windows above the French doors. We have floor to ceiling windows on either side of the French door. Can't you see it bringing in just so much natural light? Look at the size of this porch, you guys. I'm, I'm backing up to the end of the porch so that you can see, but just look how huge it is. I could absolutely see rocking chairs out here your core and everything but I know it's hard to hear so let's go ahead and go in and I'll show you what the house looks like on the inside Wow look at this home you guys I'm gonna get in and shut the door so you can really see what this home looks like I know you see David running he's camera shy so we're gonna leave. Hey David, how are you? This is a dining room here and I'm actually standing in the utility room, y'all, just to show you how much space is in this room. Like this is the dining room. I can see family dinners here. I can see if you celebrate holidays. This is a beautiful place to gather. You have all of this wonderful light in here. Absolutely amazing. You have beautiful, the beautiful gray beams in the ceiling that match the decor. The floors are a light gray, distressed um, look. David, is this, what is this? Is this tile? Is this linoleum? This what is linoleum. this? It's a high grade linoleum. This is a high grade linoleum, you guys. It has grays and browns in it. It has that distressed look that we all love. The, the walls in here are a light gray. It kind of looks like a repose gray, which is uh, really trending right now as far as home decor. But this home is amazing. You could do so much with it. We the It's dressed in a beautiful brown dining room table and it has has these fabric chairs but you could I could see almost any color I could see white furniture I could see dark furniture I could see a table with uh, eight seats ten seats this is this is beautiful you guys this is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful with the beams and everything else so we're not going to get stuck in the dining room I just wanted you to really be able to see just how magnificent this house is so let's turn around to the kitchen here now the kitchen has um, a white somewhat distressed look uh, for the cabinets lots of ca counter space okay the counters um, in this particular home and keep remember this is Clayton Homes all right so you can absolutely um, change the color of if you wanted to order this house you could change the color of uh, the countertops you could change the color of the walls. You could change the color of the cabinets if you like, if you wanted the darker cabinets. But this home here on site in Opelika, Alabama comes with, uh, 
It comes with the uh, stainless steel appliances. You have a beautiful hood, a huge hood over um, the stove. The stove is um, the, the uh, ceramic uh, uh, stove top. So just look what you could do with this home. I'm gonna scan it so you could see um, the entire kitchen. Huge, huge island in the middle. Three chairs are currently sitting, three stools are currently sitting at that island. But look, look at the beautiful pendant lights above the island. Beautiful, huge picture window above the industrial farm sink. Love it, love it, love it, love it. You have space over uh, the kitchen cabinets to put decor. If you like, the beams actually go through the kitchen and the dining room. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Look at there. So before we go into the living room, I'll go ahead and show you the utility room while we're here. This utility room is a nice size. Your washer and dryer will go here. You have shelving above the washer and dryer. And this isn't the wire rack shelving, you guys. This is real wood shelving. You have a bar here that you can hang your clothes. Your um, heating and air unit uh, is behind closed doors. You have space over here. Focus. You have you have space over here for a deep freezer, and you also have um, your thingamajig here. This utility room has a door that can close so your guests don't see into the utility room. And let's walk back out here and see the rest of the home. So, through the kitchen, and keep in mind I came in the side door, right? I'm going to give you one more pan around to see just how awesome this kitchen is. And that's a view from the kitchen to the dining room. Again, this hood is huge over the stove. And this is your living room. Look how beautiful this fireplace is, you guys, and all the space. If you really wanted to, you could actually put, um, uh, have space for storage on either side of the fireplace if you want to put some built-ins on these walls. You have distressed um, wood over the fireplace. It's uh, in a darker gray than the walls, but it absolutely meshes well with the floor. Um, you have a ceiling fan in this room. And look at all the space that you have in this living room. Lots of space, lots of windows. We really didn't even have to turn the lights on. This house takes in so much beautiful natural light and it, it really gives it a, a it's a, a huge house already, but it gives it a bigger feel, even bigger feel. Now, David, what's the name of these, um, those skylights, what are they? What are those lights in the ceiling? Uh, can lights. Can lights. You have can lights on either side of the fireplace. You also have can lights in the ceiling, walking it from the living room into the kitchen. Um, and let me show you the front door that comes with this house. This house has a wonderful um, feature here on the front door. Look at this front door. Now, you don't have to keep this one, but I think it's absolutely beautiful um, with the house. And in a minute, we'll go outside, so I'll let you see the door. So this is the front of the house. So pretty. So as you go up the steps, you actually have space to get out of the rain coming into the house and this is the view that you see 
as you walk into the house. You can create a beautiful entry space right here as you walk in. And I keep looking at these two walls. I see built-ins on either side of this um, fireplace. I think that would be absolutely perfect. So again, I'll pan around one more time so that you can see the living room on into the kitchen, into the dining room. So let's see what's back here. We'll look at the master bedroom last. Oh, last. Yes. So this is bedroom probably number three. This is the smallest bedroom. You have a dark gray uh, carpet here. You have that repose gray on the walls. And this isn't the wire rack, you guys. This is wood, um, a, a wood shelving. Uh, and then you have your bar for your clothes to hang. So that's a nice feature. Again, everything in this house is upgraded. So you'll see a lot of a lot of upgrades in this house. This is bedroom number two. This is a bigger bedroom. Now, what size is this bedroom? It's a nine by 12, I believe. Bedroom number two is a nine by 12. And then the smaller bedroom. I'm not sure the size. Uh, this home can be built as a three or a four bedroom. As, okay. And also, we've built this home several times where you can add footage to it so you right. can easily add four foot to this house um, it's not that much money to make these bedrooms that much bigger that much bigger yeah. absolutely yeah. beautiful thanks david very flexible home david's my behind the scenes man you guys <laughs> this is a closet for bedroom number two again this bedroom is a nine by twelve now you don't this isn't a walk-in closet but you have good space in this closet um, and again, you can add square footage um, to this to this home. So if you want to make this closet bigger, you absolutely could do that. So there is bedroom number two. And here's the guest bath. You know, I like the position of the guest bathroom because if you walk from the living room, you, you walk straight into the guest bathroom. You could leave this door open so that guests know where the restroom is. You have lots of space in here. These countertops are a little darker than the countertops in the kitchen, but it totally works with the color scheme in this house. You also have the window here um, in the bed in the bathroom, which is a nice feature. It brings in natural light to the guest bathroom. You have a huge deep sink here in the bathroom, and it this one is beautifully decorated. I, I would I could absolutely see myself leaving it like this. This is a good space for a guest bathroom. And if you have two kids in a three bedroom, it's enough space for them to share. So beautiful, beautifully done already. All right, so now we're gonna, I know what you've been waiting on. Let's take a look at the uh, master. Huge master, you guys. So pretty. The master bedroom also has a dark carpet, a window on either side of the headboard. If that's where you want to place the headboard, you have a window on either side. Here's the walk-in closet, huge walk-in closet, huge, huge. There's enough space for me in here. I don't know where my husband would put his stuff, but. I wouldn't need two closets if I had this one. Look at there. And you have a window in the master closet. Lots of space. I could totally see me asking Clayton Holmes to add the lower rod also so that I have even more space for my clothes. Is that a possibility, David? Could yes, we add the lower rod? Yes, ma'am. Not a problem. I would abs I could absolutely see me ordering this house with the lower rods so that you have storage space at the top and at the bottom. Now this home comes with the vents in the floor, but could you get them in the ceiling? Absolutely. Per well, I actually do see vents in the ceiling also. So what is the reason, David, for this home having the vents up there and also down here? 
Well, the air vents, the air flow's coming out of the floor in this one. This is return air. Okay. You know, but if we wanted the air vents in the ceiling, we could do, do that. Yeah, you can do that, and then you you return air will be in the floor, and all your floor vents will be in the ceiling. So Very good. Well, there you have it, you guys. I know a lot of my viewers have said, oh, the bathroom's too small, or the bit, or the closet's too small in the master bath, or I don't like the vents in the ceiling. You can customize these homes the way you want. You don't have to purchase a home like I did, buying the model and taking it as is. You could absolutely order the house um, the way you'd like to order the house, as long as that house is able to to upgrade to what you're asking for for instance you may want the size of the master bath to be bigger and you may also want the sinks on the opposite wall well in most cases you may be able to add square footage you may not be able to move the plumbing in that home so you hit it all depends on what they're capable of upgrading so that's just a little something for you to think about when you're thinking about a home that you see you can make changes in some cases you could add square footage if it's a four bedroom you may be able to order it as a three bedroom and make the beds and make the bedrooms and closets bigger you just may not be able to change the layout of that particular room so and then you may you just need to ask those types of questions so let's go into the master bath. Now this is what I fall in love with. I love a beautiful, I love a lot of counter space mm -hmm. and a beautiful master bath. And I'm already seeing lots of counter space here. It has the darker um, countertops, just like the other bathroom. The huge, beautiful, deep sinks. I love the mirrors that are going in here and the lights that are over let me let's move so you can take in the whole picture look at the beautiful lighting that they have in here over the sinks this is wonderful you have uh, lots of space beautiful cabinet colors now the cabinets in the kitchen are white and the cabinets in here are dark if you wanted the white cabinets in here or if you wanted dark cabinets throughout the whole house, that's absolutely something that you could do. I also appreci appreciate this feature here. The, the uh, master bathroom tub, you have a huge garden tub. This tub looks about the size of my tub at home. This is a huge tub. It's in a separate room. And you also have a seating area and storage space in this room so this is a beautiful it almost gives it like a spa like feel you have the hooks here on either side of the storage um, cabinets and you have counter space in here as well this is so pretty you guys you also have this feature wall this stress wall here um, shiplap type look this is actually a tile it looks like a uh, shiplap but this is a ceramic tile. ceramic tile in the master bath uh, over the tub you have lots of space for decor um you have lots of space for candles and different things that you like to put in here um this is so pretty you don't have to put a bench in here there's one that's already in here and I'll step back and just scan the whole room y'all I'm sorry um, I'm probably all over the place on this one I'm not used to somebody being here with me but I appreciate David for being here you also have the can lights in the ceiling here you have four actually in this room your toilet is inside of uh, the shower area but you have like a privacy wall of somebody's in the shower you have a barn door leading into this room and then a barn door going into the room where the where the tub is I know there are some of my viewers that don't care for the barn doors that is something you, you could totally take down huge shower this is a step-in shower you have the rain shower um, shower head, and you also have the one that you can take off the off the wall. 
You have a bench there that you can sit on and that controls the water. Again, you also have ceramic tile in here. So beautifully done. If you wanted to make this room bigger, you could do that by adding more square footage to this house. Wonderful, wonderful job. This house is beautiful, you guys. I know some of my viewers are tired of hearing me say that word, but hey. Absolutely amazing. So we'll do one more pan around in here. David, what size is that shower? So 72. 72 inch shower in the master bath. And ceramic. Say that again? With hand laid ceramic tile. Wonderful. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies, and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. I wake up and live my dreams. Try